Hey everybody, what's going on? So we got some pretty interesting information. And you know, I, it feels like I'm kind of picking on Jugmeet Singh, which I guess I kind of am, but he deserves it. So let's do some more of it. Remember the other day when I was on uh, X and I, I showed, I made a video of it where I, I showed a, a um, a, a post that Jugmeet Singh and the NDP party had made basically saying how they're the fastest growing party and that they're on the rise and their momentum is unstoppable and they're coming for the conservatives. I can't even say it with a straight face. Well, we got some interesting information here. So uh, before we get into this, guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really does help grow this channel. Also, don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section because it also really does help uh, with the client. Sorry. Uh, channel engagement and I also do enjoy the engagement going back and forth with you guys as well so federal projection for British Columbia do you see an orange wave here I don't they're almost in third place so again what's Jugmeet Singh talking about and this is his home province too and I have something very interesting to tell to tell you about when it comes to his specific writing in just a minute here but in terms of the federal projection, BC is 46% conservative, 23% NDP, and liberals only at 21%. 33 seats for the conservatives, 5 for the NDP, and 4 for the liberals. In British Columbia, where generally the NDP does extremely well. Well, what have they done? Homelessness is up. Crime, up. Drugs on the streets. The Safe Supply Act, where now you have needles in parks and you have these hard drugs in schools. Because you know some of these places that are selling these safe hard drugs that kill people every day. You know some of it's getting sold out the back door. You know some of it's ending up in schools and they find it in schools with the company's label on it and everything. And all of a sudden you have this massive conservative swing. <laughs> Who would have ever thought that if you destroy a province... They're not going to continue to vote for you. Who, who would have ever thought that, NDP? This is why Pierre Polyev preaches his common sense slogans all the time, because the NDP and the liberals have zero of it. Or they are just incredibly evil. Now, again, I'm on the side, I think they're evil, but there are some people who just think they're incredibly stupid and incompetent as well. Either way, it's bad for the country, it's bad for the people, it's clearly bad for the provinces. Now, if we go down here, this just shows the more uh, detailed votes. Now, and for those of you who also want to start checking out polls and reading some of this information, 338 is very good. And if you want to check individual writings or, you know, you know, things like that, provincial races, federal races, you can go to 338 and you can just kind of go through the website. It's really, really good. Um, now, the other thing that I wanted to show you guys, if you go to electoral districts, and you go over to British Columbia, and I'm sorry, if you scroll down here, it'll actually show you the writings and who it's, you know, CPC safe, like it's going to go to the conservative, there's toss-ups, there's liberal leaning. Well, Jugmeet Singh has a writing in British Columbia. Guess which one it is? It used to be Burnaby South, but then there was some, some uh, bo uh, boundary changes and they kind of renamed his writing. It is now... Burnaby Central. Let's have a look. Conservatives seem to be winning. This is Jugmeet Singh's actual home writing. And I remember he had this interview a couple weeks ago, I want to say with uh, Vasi Kapilo, uh, Kapilos from CTV. And she was talking, and he was talking about Pierre Polyev being a bully and all this nonsense. Boo hoo. Here's the world's smallest violin. Nobody really cares except him, right? Even though he's clearly a bully, if you see what he's done, we'll talk about that in a second after as well. But he said he was going to easily win his riding. Well, you're down. It's only by one point. But if you look at the projection of who's more likely to win, like percentage of winning, conservatives are at 59%. Not just in a very... NDP province, but a very NDP stronghold in terms of the riding. They've only got a 39% chance. So Jugmeet Singh looks like he's going to be out on his ass soon. Not before he gets his pension, of course. There, there's no way this is going to happen, especially with this. I mean, when he said that he was going to easily win his riding, 
that's basically like the one and only way where I actually believed him. I was like, yeah, of course, because it's super liberal, super or super NDP rather. Uh, of course, he's going to win his riding. There's no way he doesn't. Well, it actually looks like he's going to. Now, I just want to also, you know what? Let me just pull up my phone here because I was looking at something on my break at work here. Because I just I forget the guy's name, but there's a guy who's in the conservative party who's running in this riding. His name is Dharam Kajal. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but either way, this guy, apparently, I don't know anything about him. I didn't know his name until just now. and uh, But apparently, he's making some major strides, and he is very likely, or I don't know if it's very likely, but he's got a pretty good chance of taking out Jagmeet Singh, which I think is better for all of us. I think we'd all agree on that. So apparently, Jagmeet Singh's tough guy appearance and you know, getting in a, a, a heckler's face on the street with cops around. I want to stress that. I want to make that very clear. He didn't do it to be a tough guy. He did it probably to get the guy arrested if he repeated what he said, or at least try to get the guy arrested. And I don't know if you guys saw this too. I was trying to find a video of it. I saw videos of other people talking about it, but there was a time in Parliament where, uh, I think it was on Thursday or Friday, where, you know, the NDP and the Conservatives Pierre Polyev and Jagmeet Singh were really going at it. And every time Pierre Polyev was speaking, they were just heckling him and like really, really loudly. Most of the time it's the liberals doing it, but it's the NDP who thinks that they're the, the real second opposition here who's going after Pierre Polyev. They seem to be kind of stepping up the heckling to the point where you can actually, uh, apparently there's video of it. I haven't seen it yet, <clears throat> but Jagmeet Singh actually got up off of his seat and he walked down into the aisle and told Pierre Polyev to, like, come meet him, as if he wants to fight him or some shit like that. And you can see Andrew Scheer, uh, Larry Brock, and Pierre Polyev all basically looking over, like, come on, like, go ahead, do it. Like, come on, tough guy. Like, they're not scared of him. And I don't know what's going on with Jugmead Singh lately, but he apparently thinks he's some tough guy who's going to bully back the bully, even though Pierre Polyev's not a bully. He's just calling out the nonsense. He's saying the truth. Again, I don't fully trust him. I know a lot of you do. I understand. The reason I say that is because when he gets in, we do have to hold him accountable. However, I also believe that he is not intimidated by Jugmeet Singh. I don't think anybody in their right mind would be intimidated by that guy. He's a clown, he's a coward, and he's corrupt, just like all the hecklers say. And apparently, all this tough talk isn't really doing him any favors. He's likely to lose his own riding. In the province, federally, are going, or sorry, uh, provincially, are also looking like they're they're in trouble too. They might hold on, but apparently there's only like a 50 to 55% chance that the NDP wins. So the conservatives are right up there um, in terms of the provincial uh, premier race as well. Everything Jogmeet Singh has touched has turned into absolute shit. So if you do support the NDP, just remember this. And just remember that he's currently still holding up Justin Trudeau, propping up Justin Trudeau. So if you vote for the NDP, I understand. But if you want to be taken seriously, you need to remove your leader. Just like the Green Party needs to do the same thing, and so does the PPC. If you want a third-party option, you need a strong leader. We don't have one. So conservatives or liberal it is. And it's going to be the conservatives. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Um, are you as surprised as I am to see some of these numbers? Do you agree that Jugmeet Singh's a fake tough guy? Let me know what you think. I always enjoy engaging with you guys. And also, please, again, don't forget to like and subscribe. And that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thanks again so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.